Hello, this is how to make a solar food dehydrator. As you can see, what we use is we picked up an old bread maker from the wrecking yard. Cost was very minimal. Actually, I fixed it in about 10 minutes, but the problem is it took 3,000 watts of electricity down below to heat it. I like this one here because as you can see, we can put rack after rack after rack after rack to solar dehydrate the food. Down below, we have a chimney. It comes in for the heat. It's also painted black for the heat. As we come around here, we have a panel down here, even with a battery and some computer fans. So if we want, we can turn it on to get the air to go through easier. On the back, we have a solar panel with all painted black with black tubes inside, which also heat up to create a convection effect. Down below at the end of our solar thing, it's up at an angle and there's a pipe that goes straight into the bottom of the little chimney stack into the dehydrator to put the food or the hot air in, excuse me. This thing works really good. It dehydrates food really nice. At the top, we have a chimney that is adjustable for airflow. Although it doesn't have to be open because of the solar tubes we have here in the back, they also have access for convection so the air does flow through. If we wanted to hydrate something rather quickly, we just put it underneath the glass. Do you need to watch that because it will burn the food because it gets up to 250 degrees inside that little box. So the dehydrator, we try to keep right around 140, 150 degrees. Today we don't have really anything in it. I just emptied it this morning. But there's an idea for a, a solar dehydrator. The box by itself gets hot because it's all painted in black. Hope this helps. Have a great day. God bless. Bye.